Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Arun Abba. I'm a portrait photographer and if you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button because I make videos on photography, Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Also, you can check out my work on Instagram at arunabba.nag. So today we'll be working on Premiere Pro uh, to get a typewriter effect as you can see here. And you can use this in your vlogs, in your Insta story and a lot of other places, even a short documentary introduction. So without getting delayed, let's get started. Alright, so today we'll be working on something like this, which is a typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. So to get this, we'll start with a new sequence. We'll go to the settings as I, as I have done this with respect to my Instagram story. So we'll just get this done and everything else will be same, 23 frames per second. And okay, you can, you can rename this to typewriter. And I'll drag this image over here. It's an image taken by me. If you want to know how I collaborated it, let me know in the comments. So we'll scale down the image to fit the screen and that is how it looks. Now we'll get a new title, to get the title you get new and legacy title that's a change in the new uh, CC, it will directly take up the settings of your sequence and we'll call this typewriter turn and here we'll get our title Pull this over here. It's good. We go to your, our FX panel. If you don't have this, just go to Windows and you can find your effects. Here, look for an effect called Linear Wipe. There you go. Under Transitions, pull it to your title great now if you go into your transition completion it goes in this way as you can see it's in a wrong way it will change the wipe angle and now we see there you go all right once you have got the transition completion angle so we'll create a new deep frame in the beginning, click on the on toggle animation, click into 100 and then we'll get to the end of the video, try to make this shorter, and we'll make it to zero. Now it looks like this. It looks a little slower when you play it. So we can adjust that by pulling this keyframe closer. And we can adjust the speed. It takes a little bit of time to get what you need. And once we keep adjusting it, it looks kind of good now. I like it. I'll keep this. So once we have got the typewriter, we'll create a new black video. Go to the new item, the black video, and it will take out the sequence settings as that of your se um, sequence, and you can just pull it over here. We'll click on the black video.
and reduce the scale size we'll position it before the letter that is writing so we'll click on position drag it over here and we'll click on uniform scale so that you can reduce the scale width and make it look like a cursor that looks great and so here is the start so we'll create a toggle animation on the position maybe you can push it a little ahead and then all the way at the text ends to create another keyframe the position is here so now it will look like this so when you play it back it looks like this next what you can do is actually get the blinking effect for that gonna go in the beginning over here and go to the opacity the animation toggle uh, toggle animation if it's not on switch it on and start creating the uh, frames like this is make it zero move one frame by the cursor key the right cursor key and make it 100 and do it again Repeat the couple of repeat this couple of times. Once done, copy this and paste it at the end of this until your entire keyframe length at the top of your position. There you go. Looks great. And after this, this is how it looks. That looks great. Finally, we can add some sound. When you add it to the sequence, pull it over here. Get to where the letter starts working. Get the sound here. And stop. Done. that's for today guys uh, leave in the comments what you want to see more and what other tutorials you want me to make hit the like share and subscribe button smash that bell button so that you get to know when the next video is coming on i make videos almost every week and until then have an amazing day